you flew all the way from England to be here, and you look like you're doing well and excited about this event. What are you most excited about? Are we rolling? Sorry, we're going. Oh shit, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Next week, I, thought, I, thought, we, I thought we were practicing the intro. I, I did. Thought, that was the intro. It's it was good practice, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll do that again, shall I? Sorry. <laughs> I think oh shit is the perfect way to react. <laughs> Oh Shall we continue? I think I think we'll you keep, keep I think you keep that Just in keep there. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Just keep going. Okay, but seriously, all joking aside, as we look around these massive stands compared to Mac coming here to the U.S., what are your thoughts? What are oh your first God. initial the, thoughts? The, the just the sheer scale of this place, with the McCormick Center versus the NEC in uh, in Birmingham and and I guess the Hanover Messe in in, in, in Hanover in Germany. There is just no, absolutely no comparison. These are absolutely huge. I mean, just looking at the single stands themselves could be a haul at, at Mac. So I'm so excited to see how many people show up. And if, the, if people are filling this place, then there must be a lot of people showing up. And it's really exciting for our, our partners, our clients, to just get, to get, the, the, get it out there. We're only a few hours away now, and the excitement just seems to be vibrating everywhere for this event. Let's take a walk with our camera guys and just look at some of these booths. Maybe we can even pull some people on camera with us Absolutely. to see how their building has been, right, as they build these massive booths. And it's such a big ordeal because we are not on the ground floor here. There's massive ramps up the back that they've got to take, take the trucks, bring the machines up to, like, to the second floor. And you take, imagine the amount of energy and effort and man and woman power that it takes to get all the machines up here and then get, get them commissioned and then get them running parts day in, day out, showing off all the demos and what these fantastic machines can achieve. Well, we've talked with some of our partners like Balmer, and we've talked to some of the other folks out there, and they've been here for weeks doing exactly what you just described, making sure that it's all perfect. The investment is there. The incitement is here because it's been four years. And in our industry, you know how much technology grows in four years' time? So we have pre-registered uh, the largest amount of possible attendees ever in the history of IMTS. Was it about 160,000 people pre-registered? About 160,000. We'll see how many show up. I'd love to see that many. I really would. I'd love but to see we'll more see. than that. We'll see. Yeah, hopefully hopefully they can, they can track that many because this is absolutely a spectacle of engineering, not just be nice to come and see the sales managers you know and come and talk about machines, but just the sheer um, entertainment of coming around here and seeing every, every, all the engineers here running the machines and all the fantastic tech that they have on offer. Well, you see this booth here, Mazak, we know is a great company, Japanese. Look to our other side here, we got Akuma as well. We'll be filming with them later in the week, live streaming. That'll be exciting. I know everyone's going to tune in for that. But we're running through these halls like crazy people all week long with a max out schedule on almost the, all these booths, right? We are, yeah, we're doing about, is it five live streams a day? I mean, I'm personally doing maybe three or four, yeah. two or three a day. So we're going to be running around, I guess, our cameramen are going to be running around <laughs> with camera gear. We'll be running around with notepads and making notes on everything we've got to, we've got to be talking about and making sure that we get the, um, get the news out for all the brand new tech that's coming out um, with our clients. I do invite everyone who's watching this video right now to join Rowan and I and Paul and Joe and some of our other presenters and leave comments in the comment section of the live stream. We want this to be as interactive as possible. If you have a question about the booths, the people, the technology, if this is something you want to know about, Soon, shoot a comment. We will be watching and monitoring every single comment that comes through the entire time, and we'll be able to answer simultaneously as they come through. Yeah, so if you can't make it to IMTS, then the best way to, to see it is to come uh, watch our live streams. They're happening Monday, Monday through Friday. Make sure if there's something you're interested in, if you want to talk to any of the sales managers we're talking to, or any of the engineers, make sure you shoot us a comment because that's the, the best time. That you're, so there's, the, there's contractors and forklifts around the place everywhere. Come on, come on, dude. So if you're interested in what we're talking about, please come and send some comments in. We want to, we want to know what your questions are because that's the best time and the best way to get in touch with all of the, all of the, uh, the great companies we're going to be talking to. It's kind of fun to do what we're doing right now when we have to dodge <laughs> forklifts and I know, people bit, running around. There's a little bit of improvisation here, isn't there? I've got to figure out which way we're going, trying not to trip <laughs> over on any of the cable ties lying well, around the you're place. You're a bit younger than me, but you've probably heard of the video game Frogger. I feel like we're paying a little bit of Frogger right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, jumping around. Double Dutch and, and kind yeah. of just hanging out. But it is such, for a person like myself, and I know, Rowan, you're the same, when we see these machines, if this feels... I know some people fall in love with cars or jewelry or some other. I love a beautiful machine. I love seeing what they make, whether it's additive or subtractive or injection mode. The automation that's going on here in the U.S. and the massive reshoring initiative is just fascinating to watch grow. Absolutely. So there's obviously, uh, because I guess you're trying to bring more work back into the U.S. from other countries, 
there is there's a massive growth in the in the machine tool sector and what i find amazing as well is actually how many different brands there are over here that i've i've never heard of my, in, my, in my life like um absolute machine tools um we've seen lo and fuji i've never heard of in my life either and we've um there's loads of machine tools here that i've never heard of and i'll be really fascinated to find out more about uh in the in the coming days tony so a great shout out to ourselves actually Maybe we should do some marketing with these folks. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I mean, so we're here on the Matsura stand. We and we've got are one on of the your friends stand. here, right? I'm going to see if Billy <laughs> is just going to join me for half a second. We are. This is an edited video, so we can leave it all out if you don't want to talk about it. But we Perfect. figured, hey, if we're going to be marketing for you guys and talking about this show and expressing the awareness of your fantastic machines, why not catch you in the action of building the booth, right? Fantastic, fantastic. Glad to see you. Great so, to be here. So how's this whole, I mean, this is a beautiful booth. How has it all been coming together? And how long have you guys been here working on this? Oh, we've been here since September the 2nd. So we got here early, just uh, just before Labor Day, right around Labor Day weekend, and uh, it's been fantastic. It's been a great journey. You still seem to have a whole lot of energy, though. How are you managing that? Uh, a lot of Red Bull, coffee, caffeine, <laughs> Starbucks is right across the street. All right, Billy. Well, we will see you for our live stream on Monday. Okay. It'll be Monday at noon for all of you who are watching this video right now. You will see Billy and a lot of his colleagues. We even have some of the best of the best when it comes to conversation and automation through Palette Change Systems. Billy, thank you for doing that. I appreciate you. And it's not just the automation, the Matsuras that are fantastic, the parts, the demo parts, I just had a quick look behind Dem Billy there. Some of those parts are absolutely beautiful. So it'd be nice to get those on the live stream as well, uh, just to show off what the machines can do. And as we talk about these parts, you know there's going to be giveaways. How much of these giveaways and swag, as we call it, are you going to try and put on the airplane and take back to the UK with well, you? I think actually, Colin, one of, one of our managers has got a spare, a spare suitcase just for <laughs> big five panel caps and lanyards. And I don't know, what do we, can, try, can we try and get a hoodie out of someone, do you think? They're definitely here. Whatever you want. Whatever you want to see, somebody's probably making it, giving it away. And we, saw t uh, we went to uh, SLB Machine Tools as well, and they said they were, unfortunately, they were going to be, well, they were going to be sending out some of those parts for scrap. And I said to them, well, can't I have one of those sumps, <laughs> one of those aluminium oil sumps? It'd be nice to stick on your wall just to cover up some marks. But unfortunately, we, they couldn't give us any, any metal stuff, but we might try and get some, some fabric from them instead. Well, as we're cutting through here, I'm going to make a really bad joke, but I have to do it. I'm just instantly feeling smarter as we walk by these smart <laughs> machines cutting through, right? Brilliant. He's here all week, folks. <laughs> full of, full of jokes, as per usual. Yeah, easy. And again, so I've never heard of smart machine tool either, and there's loads of different kinds of machines these guys do. I've never seen one on a shop floor in the UK, and uh, there's, there's, there's a huge number of places that I'm hopefully looking forward to going and see after some of our interviews when we've got a bit of free time. Um, I'm, Paul's asking, he's, he's trying to direct us. I'm not quite sure where we want to go next. And again, for everyone who's watching, we just, Rowan and I love to talk <laughs> a lot and we love technology. And we figured, hey, let's get hey. one of our cameramen and walk around. But we didn't really have a direction. We're just having fun talking about the engineering technology of everything and trying to get everyone else excited if you're not already, which they probably are. But if you're not already, this is going to be a fun event. Absolutely. And we've got Hella Machine Tools here, who I don't think we're doing a live stream with Hella, unfortunately. But again, fantastic machine. And this is one of their new palette changes, which I went and, uh, and saw in Germany. Um, and this has been a brand new development. I talked to, oh, I can't remember the guy's name, but the guy who helped help design one of these, the, the new palette changer from Hella, and if it's well, it, it, it collaborates with the machine tool, um, and that's a brand new brand new development, and that's, that'll be exciting. Unfortunately, we're not doing an interview with them, though, so. Well, we, maybe, we, we filled our schedule up so full that whether we liked it or not, we had to turn some people away, and we didn't want to, but also thank you all for tuning in to MTD, to where we have been maxed out, and I say maxed out with three crews with almost 15 of us here flying from the UK from Latin America yes Fernanda is here as well for all you Spanish speaking people and this is going to be that type of event where we're going to be running around and if you see us take a picture take a video say hi give us a high five a smack on the butt we love all those things <laughs> well, I'm sure you like that you probably like the last one more than most Tony but it's okay what I think is amazing is how full on we're going to be for the next five days though there is a hell of a lot of work ahead of us um, and we're going to try and make sure we're working at our best, which there's a lot to, there's a lot to pack, cram in. I've been making notes furiously today, talking to some of the engineers at, at Vila, Vila or Vila for, for Methods Machine Tools. And we've been over at Air Turbine Tools as well today because we're, we're going to be doing that first thing on, uh, on Monday, we, along with Volmer as well. And then we're doing so that's grinding machines, that's air turbines, then there's... Uh, then Methods is, is, is kind of semi-CNC laid. So that's three different, completely different products. We're going to have, well, I'm personally going to have to cover in a, in a short amount of time. So there's a lot to do. And again, onto the SW stand. And so, now we've found ourselves in front of SW. Yeah, exactly. So SW, obviously, fantastic machine tools made in Germany. Most, I mean, some mostly for the automotive sector, but I was talking to um, 
Jake, one of the cameramen, about. If, shall we come and have a quick look sure, on the stand? let's have a look. So there's a little sign here saying the machine contains magnetic fields that may interfere with pacemakers. And this is fascinating because these machines are well known for having linear drives in most of the machines. And those linear drives allow them to be absolutely, uh, almost, probably some of the fastest machines in the world. And it's all about shaving milliseconds, microseconds off um, your cycle times for the automo automotive sector. So these machines are quick. There should be some incredible demos we're going to be showing off. I'm, I've got no idea what they are, but I'm very excited to find out. And you're spot on when you talk about that, because that's, you know, Jennifer's behind us, Stephanie's behind us. That's something they've wanted us to convey on almost every video that we've done is the fact of the linear motors. So you've nailed that. Something that's often known about these guys as well is the fact that there's dual and quad. Right, and they, if I remember correctly, they did a Star Wars theme song at Emo a few years back, which they're not doing here, but how cool is it when you can take a machine speeds and feeds of four spindles and turn it into music? It's beautiful, but yes, on the engineering side of things, the speed, the quality, the precision, another German-made brand that is absolutely fascinating. This will be another one of our live streams that we're gonna be doing. Exactly, and now you mentioned the, the Star Wars theme show. I remember these guys actually, their demos are pretty much second to none. I remember there's so many interesting things these guys can do with their machines. They're maybe not realistic, they're just for, to show the actual like maximum capability of the machines, but hopefully there'll be some absolutely amazing stuff to see. So tune in to the SW live stream. Is that, is that on Monday? When is that? That will be on Monday as well, is and it, it will be at 2 p.m. Central 2 PM. Time on Monday. I don't know how you remember all of this, Tony. Absolutely amazing. I don't amazing. know how it is either, really. I just, <laughs> it's weird. I guess it's the lack of sleep. I mean, Maybe the lack of sleep, yeah, no I'm sure that makes on. sense, right? <laughs> no, hey, that got... math doesn't add up at all. <laughs> no, it doesn't, no. Yeah, that allows you to have, you've got a schedule hardwired in your brain, right? Oh, hello. Yeah, we're getting out of the and way, thank you. And as we get to play the game of Frogger. Sorry, sir. Yeah, we are, so we're jumping between fork trucks. <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a lot going on, as you can imagine. And what I find also amazing about just these shows in general is the amount of work that goes into them right up to the last second. But there is a, there is a football game, right, happening Sunday, 3 o'clock. So Chicago been... Bears, San Francisco 49ers. It's a home game for the Bears. First of the season and a pretty moving moment for a lot of Americans here in the U.S. as well. They're doing a special parade for it. Um, but, yes, the first start of American football starts this week. Absolutely. So everyone's been recommended that they've got to get everything done before 3 o'clock on Sunday. Whether that happens or not, and I've got won't. no idea. They'll be working until midnight on Sunday night trying yeah. to figure out how to make the best of every single booth. And that's just the way it works. And it works at every trade show. Although, when I spend time with Fernanda down in Mexico, it seems like they really like to wait till the last minute. Whereas we try to get things done a little bit earlier than that. A little bit more on time, happen. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping the MTD stand's going to be finished today, right? <laughs> It's kind oh, of cool when things do work on its own, right? We need more yeah, like absolutely. that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's it. I guess that's definitely not going to run you over, is it? It's not supposed to. If it does, something's <laughs> gone wrong. I hope that beeps at you if it's, if it's about to go into you. Lovely. And so we can walk through there and see what happens. Double what check. Think? I'm not sure I want to do that live, to be honest, Tony. I'm all right. It might be fun for the people watching. <laughs> it might be. Yeah. I might get my helmet on. I might do it Friday afternoon, though, after we've got to get this, got this week finished. Here's a fantastic finished. brand that we recently did a video with as well, a Taiwanese brand leading the industry in what's called smart manufacturing because it reads and sensors everything that's going on the machine. So if it's the bearings that are starting to go bad, if it's, well, pretty much anything, it actually reads, calculates, and does what's called more or less preventive maintenance on the machine without us having to worry about breaking down, having that downtime, ordering the part, then getting the part, and then getting the machine up and running again. It does all of that smart technology while it's being run, and that's kind of clever, and that video was pretty cool too, so I hope you guys have seen that. Yeah, I'll have to check that video out, actually. That sounds fascinating, Tony. Now let's talk a little bit about Starrag, one of the global leaders for the aerospace world that makes some of the biggest machines, like the size of a building type stuff. Absolutely. I've seen a lot of the Starrag machines in the AMRC in Sheffield near me, and the STC-1250, there's some mass, there's some big Hecate machines yes. um, that are all about huge uh, huge parts and difficult to cut materials. Yes. And I guess, have you, got, have you got a contact here you want to you well, have a little chat Well, I'm not sure to? if Elena's here right now, but there's <laughs> definitely do, some folks going, here man. we know. And uh, I mean, between the precision of the Bumotech, the size of the Star Egg, you mentioned Hecate, the fact that they just really support some of the largest industries on the planet, it's really unique and cool technology. And on top of that, They've been around since the 1800s. So you want to talk about the history of machine tools? It's all right here within this company. And I guess it's obvious that they, I guess they've been around for so long. That's how they can manufacture big machines for huge for huge components. And also the boomer techs, which you've got like some have like nine, ten, eleven axes. Yes, so they do. there's a completely different set of engineering knowledge you need to make the big machines versus the tiny little high high speed uh, multi axis machines as well. Yeah, it's, when I think about the Bumotech, and you mentioned that briefly about you know how many axes there are, it's 
It really is, and I've seen the part happen over and over and over again. It's kind of their pitch in sales as well as you take that raw material, when it's done in there, it goes straight into the shipping box. We're talking about finishing, deburring, grinding, anything that needs to go into that part is done within that one pretty real estate friendly machine. Whereas otherwise you'd have to have maybe three different machines and a manual washing step, which is just sometimes makes makes a part on uh, not commercially viable to make. So sometimes these things, these machines are what you need to make sure you can make parts and keep making money. Very good point. Everyone watching out there, when we think about exactly what Rowan just said, we're all trying to combine operations. If we're taking away how many operators need to work on one part, we can do it all in one machine. I mean, this really is the creation of how we compete on a global scale. But with that being said, Rowan and I have had an amazing time walking around this. There's so much more to see. We invite you all to watch either here or on the live stream that we'll be doing if you can't make it to Chicago, right Rowan? Absolutely, we'll see you there, hopefully.